Irish, right? The because they're white and you just have white eyes and like all the circles lost. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, great. I was gonna, I was gonna say, please put your little ratty paws together for the streamers, but you already did. But we can do it anyway. A little rap yeah. paws. Do not be fooled. Even though I am the one standing up, there are actually two hosts today. Apo as well on the other side. Hi. You must remain standing for the rest of the panel. If I have to stand, you have to stand. Oh, That's God. how this works. Okay, I'll stand. We've got a very exciting uh, panel, one hour of content for you today. Uh, but before we start, I thought it'd be good to introduce everybody. So if you want to start from this way and work our way downwards, go ahead. Hello, I'm Beck. Beck, your mom. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, I, did, I did ask if I could uh, cosplay my rat today, and they said no for some reason. Yeah. Can you imagine why? Good. It was um, against TOS. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's appropriate, really. But yeah, yeah hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Olive. Hi, I'm Olive. <laughs> Good intro. You've got to say more. <laughs> I'm going to make you squirm. You've got to say more. Uh, I'm the lawyer rat. Yeah. 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 Lawyer rat. A bad lawyer. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Martin, bartender rat, I guess. Oh, Santa. Yeah. Or as, as Ollie would say, Marty, Marty. <laughs> Hello, I am Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, random citizen. <laughs> um, I was farmer rat. That was my, I just cleaned off for today. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, I'm Eloise. Uh, I was the rat artist and Beckumont's favorite rat. Yeah. <laughs> Say I'm Apo. I was the cosplayer rat. It was fun. Yeah. Apo, do you want to segue us into our next segment, Apo? Our first segment of the panel. What? <laughs> <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to segue us into the next part of the panel? Oh, yeah, of course. So, we are starting off with a little refresher. If anybody doesn't really remember the Rats SMP, we're going to show off a video for it. So. Here we go. This is the table of contents, in case you are wondering what's happening. Number five is special. Ooh, very exciting. I, can't, I cannot confirm or deny anything. No questions at this time. Uh, but first, yeah, a little refresher, a trip down memory lane as we look at the best moments, some have sent by you guys, uh, of the Rats SMP. Here we go. We're going to manifest it. It works first try, okay? I've got to get up somehow. Oh no. I'll go. Oh, over here. I'll go. Oh, go oh my go. god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where do I hide? Oh, no. Catch me. Ah. I know. Please the rat stop getting well. caught. Okay, hear me. I was hiding in the shed. There is uh -oh, no run, way the janitor run, would have been at. What do you mean, run? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, guys. Please, he's here. Hello? Oh, hello? Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eloise, I'm not in a good position to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Just right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit closer? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, she's on you! No. Oh, oh, no. It's fine. I will warn you all now, she screams when she's in a cage, so you will just hear it oh, as you get closer. God. There we go. Yeah, there it is. There we go. <laughs> okay, you saying I'll do the chords. I'm um, just, just a rat in a cage. I'm just a rat in a cage. I'm a little Someone rat in the me. cage. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Ow! You be a rat. Ah! I mean, <laughs> Mama, this isn't you. I know it's not you. Like I know you're angry at me, but this is not. <laughs> you know what? I can predict the future. I think. Mm. I think she's gonna like just rapidly disappear. Do you think? In, like, I'm gonna read her a about ten story. seconds. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who roamed the halls. Unfortunately, who <laughs> <laughs> is that? Sorry, this is LeBron. LeBron needs to get back in his cage. <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> oh, LeBron! <laughs> look, you look quite close and happy together. Well, you know, it's a modern world that we live in, and sometimes some people do get involved in polyamory. Close your eyes, and you can open them in three, two, open your eyes. Stop it! 
Oh. How have you done that, Martin? Welcome to Taylor Made what by you, the Taylor Made. What you do is magic. Oh my god. And this is for you. Oh, oh. oh. oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god, it looks no. perfect. Yes, my ears. You look like you're ready for anything to come your way. Look at oh, you double, oh, double you're goggle in. Wait, Jimmy's fat head sticks through the front. <laughs> I'm Ratsun Miku. <laughs> Ratsun Miku! <laughs> oh, he's gone. The fleas, the fleas! Somebody help! <laughs> I need help. You want some? Get us un poquito? You want a little bit? Yeah, we do some calming ASMR to help with your ears, yeah? I can do calming ASMR. <laughs> We're going to hold a vote away. if you guys want to join in, by guys, the way. Guys, he's doing law! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, brilliant. I'd like to bring forward the witness. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it back and it's the only thing in the court. A moment to throw it back, please, Johanna. I can make something of this. I've seen this before. I know what I need to do. I just... <laughs> I was thinking about moving Olive's, like, office and library into here. Because I think we're going to convert their office into a nursery. Oh! A nursery? They're pregnant? Wait, why? No, 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 no. Wow, that's exciting. Guys, is a pregnant rat. There's a pregnant rat. Wait, let me try, let me try. Let's hear Wells' French Oh, that was weird. I'm ready. Oh, bonjour, je parle le français. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, drop. Hello? Let's go find these got to learn. Is there a trailer? Uh, no. Well, yeah, there is one on Twitter. It's very short, though. It's a little teaser one. It's up to you. Oh, wow. Did he just get kicked for flying or did he just go to watch the train? Oh, oh, oh you're back. What's up there? What happened? Hello. So I hit this girl. And <laughs> don't it... do it again. Why would you don't do, do it again? <laughs> Why is the cat down here? I thought cats don't like water. It's... No, 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 no. <laughs> well, you see, I'm actually kind of a rat. Crow, you do see something nice of an L. Uh, it's, oh, wow, look, what's going <laughs> 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 on? Oh, wow. thank you. Oh, wow. Abstract. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oliver, will, what have you done? Look, I'm, I'm trapping humans in boats. You know, that Merry makes Christmas. sense. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Apo, I'm actually just going to read the people who are in the oh. meeting right now that I'm literally missing right now. Apo, Beck. Martin in the Littlewood, Lizzie, LD, Shadow Lady, Ollie the Orion Sam, uh, <laughs> Olive Sleepy. <laughs> this is some view you got here, El. You ever fallen off this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. We're throwing the sugar here. There we go. You just yep. wasted yeah. the sugar. Don't worry. Okay, we've got one more. Come here, come here. Did somebody find the green crystals? Oh, oh, throw them in. Secret Santa. Very good. That song still slaps. Secret Santa. It's really good. Yeah. It's not bad. It's good. Whoever made it, great, great work. Good stuff. Santa. I wonder who did that. So, we have some questions that we're going to ask the cast from the cast, uh, and later on there will be an opportunity for Q&As at the mics here. Uh, so let's kick off with our first question, which is actually to Apo. Apo, I have a question for you. Uh, you? you said, yeah, for you. Whoa, yeah, I'm no. so honored. You introduced yourself as the cosplay rat. I was wondering where you were going with that in terms of the SMP and like what costumes you had planned and that kind of thing. Okay, so basically I wanted to tell my fleas, like, little stories that I would reenact in Minecraft through like special streams and stuff and every single stream would be like a fairy tale like Cinderella or Red Riding Hood um, and every single story that I wanted to tell was going to correlate with like a costume I'd make uh, through like Minecraft skins or whatever so it was going to be like a, a cool little special stream thing every once in a while yeah we got some of the costumes we got some of the costumes the yeah like one. hey Martin you and I made rats, right? Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah made we did rats. do that. Owen hated that. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to plug my ears. Can we get No, it. Owen loved it. It's like, oh, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, Apo, did you have a question? Yeah. So, Olive. Yes? What's Oliver up to now? 
I think Oliver Rat and Sniffer Rat are raising Baba Mari, yeah. the half rat, half squid hybrid. <laughs> this is canon. You can now write that in the wiki. That, that exists. It's added. Uh, Bex, Hi. you mentioned your costume at the beginning of your intro. I did. Uh, what inspired your costume? Because it's quite out there in some ways. Um, well, I mean, I want to do it for the boxing thing because I do just punch people when I play Minecraft. Just, un- I will just punch. So I was like, I want to do something around boxing. I actually asked, I think, originally, somewhere there's some DMs where I said, can my rat wear no clothes at all? Yeah, and we had said, to veto that. You said no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I just stuck with no shirt. I think it was, it was range of motion. It was about, it was about movement. Yeah. And was... just the ability to be wide, incredibly wide. <laughs> the widest rat. Yeah, no, I think we were just messing around with the different resizing and I went, can you make me wide? Yes, we had a resize mod, and I don't think it was ever truly explored massively, but we did actually increase... Oh, we explored it. Oh, no. yeah, oh we explored it. The <laughs> canonical width. Made me Be- wider every stream, just yeah. very slightly. So if you look at the VODs, you'll see Beckford oh, Rat grow in size over the, <laughs> over the SMP. Apo? Hey, Scott. Yeah. So you started out the series as a farmer rat, right? But then you kind of pivoted to more of a cook. Mm-hmm. What caused that change? Were you always planning that? Um, Well, my first idea was obviously chef rat, as anyone is when you hear rat, and I was like, I don't want to be Remy, I can't live in that shadow. So I did farmer rat instead, but then we had the farmer's delight mod, and no one really dove into it, and then I realized that it was basically just kind of like cooking mama, but in Minecraft. So I was like, I'm into this, and then just went for it, and it saved us having to like go explore for food, and I was like, no, you can just stay up in the attic, it's fine. Are you a cooking mama enthusiast? I was. You were childhood. Once you were very time. protective over your crops. Oh yeah. 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 I still remember that. Yeah. I was impressed at how much you managed to grow in the attic. Oh come. yeah, I, I had my it ways going. I was very <laughs> resourceful. <laughs> I remember you logged in one day because I didn't have it, and you came in. and I just had like a full garden, a stove. Like I was like, here's a chi-. like. I basically became like Scott Liveroo, where I was like, here's your food, and it's just a shulker <laughs> box of snacks. I was like, you enjoy, don't die, and I would leave. It's very helpful. Uh, Eloise, Hello. You, you deep dived into a particular part of the yeah. world for a long time. Can mm. you tell us about that? Um, so, I, I sort of, I, I mean, I, ju- I just sort of accidentally kind of stumbled upon it. Um, I just started, I, I was just playing around with chisel and bits and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for this and do, do a little, little piece, a little play around with it. Um, and I was like, I, actually quite good at this. Like, this is actually quite, I'm actually, that looks like the real thing, you know? So um, yeah, I just kind of, I have delved into it. And once I started, I didn't want to stop. It was just really, really fun. Um, and sort of made the little gallery my own, so. The gallery was very cool. Yeah, I like uh, the place. You, you actually sold merch as well. I yeah. did, yeah. Did happened. anyone here get that merch? Is there, is there any, any purchases? I've really gone out I, on a line here. No, <laughs> sorry, Beck. I, I really thought that someone would say, yeah. Well, like, it's, um, yeah, yeah, I did the rat with the pearl earring on, on the back. And it then was it, very like, cute. It had like art crossed out and then it said rat. Or oh, actually, no, the other way around. Um, yes. So, yeah. Great merch. Good merch. Nice. <laughs> Limited edition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I have an important question for you now. An important question. A very yeah. important one. I'm Was ready. your warped fungus arc always planned from the start? The warped fungus arc? Yeah. Yes, that was a random quest that happened during the, basically for context, there's, there was a lot of warped fungus in the garden, and we went and burned it all, uh, because Scott kind of just headcanoned that he had experienced it at some point in his life. Uh, so we went and got rid of it, because it was bad, and then I accidentally had like one little mushroom left over, uh, and then it just spun into this crazy emotional angst arc in the middle of this like cute, quaint rat saga. Uh, and yeah, so I, something I quite like about the SMPs that we run is that there's a lot of room for improvisation. And if you find something, you can just kind of latch onto it. Uh, so yeah, none of that was planned, but uh, it did take a canonical life. Um, so it was quite threatening. The and audience. so. Sorry? I was going to say that your audience voted for. Yes, my audience said that we should go and investigate the fungus, and it killed me. So, you know, thanks, guys. That's good. Uh, Martin, you also deep dived into a completely different part of the SMP, which, was, which we saw a little bit in the, uh, 
in the trailer there. What, um, that, that improvised, was that? No, no, the block bench stuff. Oh, the block bench stuff, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, all the can you hats. tell us about that? How did that happen? So, I think it was when we had one of the pre-meetings for the SMP. You sort of pitched it to us, we said, yeah, we want to be involved, and then we all got in a Discord call, and you said, like, do you have any additional questions or features we can put to no name? And then, I think all of us were like, can we have, like, actual rat ears, a tails possible? And it was one of those things that didn't happen initially, because we sort of ran out of time and sort of the resources initially. But I'd been playing around with block bench and making stuff for the bed rock version of Minecraft for ages and it was actually Violet from the Nox crew just randomly posted one day custom hats it must have been in the build up to like Island I guess mm. and I asked them like can you teach me how to do it and then I came to you guys with some pre-baked like ears and hats and then we just ran with it and I just became the tailor made for like the rest of the series whether it be my own hats other people's hats just it was so cool it was really fun it was really good because like you've got a very limited canvas so it's just a bit of trial and error figuring out where to put the blocks and the planes to kind of make those hats pop it was it was fun yeah it was a lot of good stuff uh we have some questions for the group now as a whole uh, Apple, do you want to kick us off with that yeah for sure so before you settled on your idea for a character was there any other concepts you were like playing around with and this is of course to everybody yeah if anyone wants to take that I mean, one of the ones I was going to do initially, so I ended up just becoming like a random barman and like, you know, basically just gaslighting everybody. But to begin with, I just wanted to be a really horrible rat. Oh. So I read, I read a book to my little one. It's called uh, The Highway Rat. So I wanted to be the hallway rat. And I was basically just going to hold everybody up because there was one way in and out of the attic initially. And I was like, you're going to give me some of your spoils from your ventures just now before you can go upstairs. So That's amazing. I wanted to do that, but I think I just got completely sidetracked by quests and like, like improv that I did. Yeah, the Chisholm doing bits it. as well. You made like some crazy stuff. Yeah, Take that bar was later. really fun. It's the first time I've, because I've done a lot of pixel art in the past, and Chisel and Bits was basically you can break a 16, you know, by 16 block down to single bits. You're making teeny tiny things, which for teeny tiny people is quite fun. Yeah, it was very cool. Uh, was there a particular cameo that anyone here enjoyed? Any particular Ooh. one that stood out for you? Mine was Amy and Gucky, just because the volume warning you needed on the streams of just oh any time you're near Amesy, it was just screaming. And then it was just also, there was one bit where we're like hiding under the table, it's just the two of us after ages, and there's like one of the NPCs walking around, and she's like, oh, I wouldn't mind to be stood on by those legs. And I was like, Amy, that's a child. And she's just like making vomit noises the entire <laughs> next 10 minutes, just constantly like screaming. It was so funny. I really enjoyed the fox and the squid. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. like CPK and Declan or like CP wild Cal squid person. Callum's line of bears fangs cutely. Uh, Any time <laughs> I see that clip, it just kills me. Because we were deep in the role play at this point. We've been doing it for like two months. And he yeah. comes in and we're all like, do the bit, do the bit. Do the or, bit. Have you got sharp teeth? <laughs> and he was just like, <laughs> I, I guess. Ooh, like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the squid became quite, uh, again, a room for, a, a space for improv. Uh, that was voiced by, and played by Declan uh, from No Name. And the voice just came out of nowhere. We didn't ask Declan <laughs> to do that. We were not ready for that. It was such like, an assault on the I ears. remember Evergood being the first ones to find it. And you don't break character a lot. Like, you're pretty good at it. And as you can see in the clip there where it was at, and you just like have to turn away. Like, you can't look at him. It broke me. Because <laughs> it was just so funny. That squid voice. And then we all just, I remember when we met up with the other group and we were sending them, we're like, no one tell them anything. Just, just let them experience that like we did. <laughs> was there any other cameos? Anyone uh, I liked I liked Phil and Cara as, as the birds. Yeah. That was really fun. Uh, just trying. We spent way too long trying to climb the chimney that they were in. It, it oh took my God. an unreasonably long amount of time. I think they overestimated how good we were at going. I up literally there. lost a life to that. I perished in. You the actually chimney died. Yeah. yeah, it was they really just heard, dangerous. Oh, and straight past. <laughs> that was really. We liked that one a lot. That was a good one. Apo. So, did anybody have a favorite NPC? Yeah, Papa Caspacito. <laughs> the saga of Garbage Rat and Papa Caspacito. Yeah, the It's a very one sided love story. There was a diary, but I don't think he ever read it. Not in your mind. There was a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Apo, there was a lot of love happening. It was Apo, a I, don't, I don't know if you remember Apo, but uh, Ollie was consistently asking us for some kind of quest to do of a love story between a rat and the butler. Uh, we kept we, denying him. We just kept saying no. Yeah, we just kept saying no. <laughs> he like, so he, you like, did it yourself. He, he wore us down to like a, like a pebble. Yeah, yeah. We were, at at one point, yes. I think we were so like 
head focused on everything else to do with the SMP that we just turned to Ollie and were like, just do it, just do something, please, <laughs> do whatever you want. And it worked, and it was a great story. I, we, I can't believe we didn't have faith in you. It came out amazing. Uh, yeah, was there any other favorite NPCs? Um, I really liked, it was funny with like, the different people we got to voice things, because obviously there was a couple where like, I, you asked me to like, ask Kristen to do the mum, and it was always just so funny like messaging like Kristen or Jem or Joel and being like, so, we need you to be a human in this house of little talking rats. Um, just say these lines. Thank you. And they just never would ask questions. They're like, okay, here you go. Yeah. It's like, just, this is peak content creation. Like, no one else, would, no other job would be like, hey, can you voice this character for a rat game we're playing? Thanks. Yeah, everyone was super nice that they lended their voice to us uh, to use those. Uh, can anyone name a time in which they felt true fear in the SMP? Because uh -huh. it wasn't a horror SMP. It wasn't meant to be scary, and it ended up being so. Does anyone have a core memory? I, is it okay if I have two? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so the first one was, I, I literally think it was like day two, and um, I got trapped in a cage, and it's, it's Beck and Toby outside, and he is there is singing to me. Like, and, t and like the timer is getting down to like 10 seconds, five, and he's just singing and singing and he's like stopping Beck from doing it. And I'm like, let me out the cage. Like, I can't lose a life this early. I, I think you, you let me out. Like, I think it was seconds. two seconds. Literally two seconds. And that I was like, I, I can't. You were going to let me die. Um, <laughs> I believe that, yeah. Straight, they're, they're like, that's not even like a hee hee, I might, no, you were going to let me die. You would have let, you um, would have let them. I think Toby did the same thing to me. Yeah. And Scott had to get me out. <laughs> Why is this like a reoccurring issue? Yeah. I think I did it to you and, I think it was to you and Toby I did it once and I read you like a full bed That was awful. Oh I found God. a book in the that library and decided to read the whole thing. <laughs> and I, I risked it. I went for one second, but potentially Ping could have actually perished you. Yeah. I got lucky it didn't. Yeah. There was, a, there was a moment right near the beginning, um, and I think it was when the NPCs were still a little bit buggy, and we were on the table in the hallway with, with you, with Owen and Scott, yeah. and <laughs> the butler basically hit his reset point. And so the way it worked was that they would get like shrunk down very small, and then moved, and then grown again, but we were stood there where he gets teleported to, so he just grew from nothing. <laughs> just expanded right next to us. It was absolutely. I was actually was my heart went like I was freaked out. I think there was also a chest next to it, so the pathing meant he could climb onto the. Yeah, yeah. he was just so we followed were just stood us. in the pot, and then he just appears and runs at us. We, we all just chest there. After. That chest was specifically put there to allow NPCs to climb onto the table, and <laughs> so uh, it caught it. a few. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How have we not mentioned the ja the janitor? The janitor. The janitor, oh my God, janitor was janitor. horrifying. I still, to this day, don't know if that was supposed to be a net in his hand or a frying pan. <laughs> but I think both. both. So both. fast. Both. So multi tool. Strong. He could, yeah, multi -tool. He could just reach so far. I'd be on top of like a cabinet that's like three blocks clear of him. He just go whack, just yeah, gone. The janitor came about because of Toby, uh, yeah. because <laughs> the NPCs were good at catching people, but Toby would really bait them as much as possible. So at one point, we just went to No Name and went, "Can you step in as a person, acting as an NPC, mm. so that you can physically open trap doors and just grab Toby?" Uh, and <laughs> and he was. And Mr. Mad Spy and Declan did a great job catching you. It was, My, it was I think horrible. <laughs> Yes, I pointed they didn't break down walls. It was terrifying. My favorite, my favorite moment from the janitor was like, I think we saw at the start where Toby was just clinging to the glass for dear life. Sliding. And, and, and I, I, watched, I watched back from all POVs. Toby was like, I've never seen him that scared before. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, you've got so, Toby not paying attention. I'm like watching the door because I'm like, I know this is going to come. He's going to appear. So, so I sprint as soon as I see him and then Toby's just like, what? Where? Like, Eloise, you had another moment, you said? Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was the Weeping Angels. If you saw oh. the start of the series, <laughs> yeah, uh, there were these two Weeping Angels at the, the front of the house, and then one appears in the garden. I'm like, I think I've seen this before. <laughs> um, so I go to the garden, and I'm like, I'm talking, I'm like, talk I'm like, chat, is that, is that moved? Like, that's definitely, like, that was at the front. And I, like, look away for maybe five seconds, and I look back, and the thing has turned, and I'm like, no, no. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm getting out of here. So I like run and I'm like climbing the vines up to get to the roof or like the rope before someone chopped that down. Yeah. Um, safety rope. And I get to the top of the roof and I'm like, I look up and the thing's there and I just like freaked out. And it's like, I knew it wasn't like gonna attack me, but like. You I didn't know that. 
I know that that's true. <laughs> I've seen enough about Weeping Angels to know, and it was just like, I really wasn't expecting it to be at the top, and it was a genuine, like, jump scare. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that bit got me. There was, was no, scary. like, threat to my, to my ratty life. I'm but... glad that scared you. We, we, Pal Creations will make no comment on the Weeping Angels. <laughs> we were just there. Uh, we're going to segue into a fun part of this, in which the cast get to show off their builds that we did. Oh my God. Chisel and Bits were a big part of the SMP. Uh, and so, Apple, why don't you lead us away? We have about five minutes before the next Q&A bit. So if you want to blast on through your yep. build, here so, you go. This is my, my gay house. It's very gay. Very yeah! Yeah, woo! There you go. That was it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's gay. What does you the sign say? That, that says something on the, like, oh, the left-hand side. Yeah, so, you know, I wanted to be a really stereotypical mom. <laughs> Um, so it says live, laugh, love. <laughs> and, you know, I think it turned out really well. There's a little duck up there on the top right, a little orange man, got some bookshelves. Flag for anybody. That's fun flag. And, um, fun, flag. Fun, 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 fun flag. flag. Good flag. <laughs> and a great flag. Great flag. Nice. And there's like a little thing in the end. Has anybody ever watched Home Alone? Where you, Home Alone 3, where it goes from like the top to the bottom of the house. I wanted to have like a basement that you could like, go up and down from, but I never really got the chance to do it because I forgot. Nice. Uh, but oh well, yeah, and then there's like my pumpkin man. Oh, your pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin yeah. rug. He's on the floor. Nice. nice. One of the funniest orange. things about was... your house, no. Apple, was you'd built it for your height. So then it meant when anyone oh, yeah. was older than you first came over, we just couldn't get in. It wasn't yeah. really accommodating, was it? <laughs> I'm sorry. So we have the artist rat. <laughs> Go ahead. Woo! This stuff, if you haven't seen this, this before, which so I'd be surprised good. if you haven't, this is incredible work. Like, this, can you tell us how? How? <laughs> Becky and Scott are pretty incredible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I just kind of fell into this. I think the rat with the pearl earring was my first one. And I just kind of like, oh, actually, the scream, scream is, um, the squeak even is actually Martin's. He was a, he was oh, a yeah, guest feature in the gallery. <laughs> I did that um, trying to be a nuisance, and then you were like, it can stay. I was like, yeah, yeah, because I liked <laughs> it. Um, and yeah, I just started taking on bigger and bigger projects until we have... And I can't believe I've forgotten the name of it. Cre is it what is it, the creation of Ratham? Uh, uh, yeah, Ratham. Creation of Ratham. Ratham. Yeah, the creation of Ratham. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It was really fun. That piece took a really, really long time. I'm not going to lie. There were some very like scary moments where I had to just chisel blocks through the walls of this oh, yeah. like house. And there were several points I was like, that is the outside, and that is the dining room that is downstairs. And I have gone too far, and Owen is going to tell me off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, it, it was really fun. Um, I really found like a little creative flow with it. It was my favorite bit, honestly, it was just walking through and being like, guys, guys, do you want to come to my gallery when I'd finish a new piece? And you guys would be like, what, what? And I'd be like, yeah. There were times when you erased a large chunk of your progress because of Chisel and Bits' oh. unintuitive oh, yeah. design. You would just eat through the wall occasionally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've like yeah. flashed back there. You're like, yeah, it, it, the, it's a very little finicky little mod and you can so easily accidentally like, switch from one block, like one tiny block, to like a full block, and just bam, a whole chunk of the painting's you gone. You like it. Yeah, yeah. basically. Um, but we, we powered through. Um, and you can see two of my beautiful inspirations in that box. Yeah, that was a picture. particularly yeah. good one. My favorite piece. That one, that top um, one. I always remember it was one of the times I came over while you were live and I was live to like see what you were up to. And it was like catching like a child stealing candy of like, because the rule was we weren't <laughs> meant to break blocks that weren't either like in the house or mm. in the attic. And I walk into the thing and I just find Elle like three blocks deep in the wall, just looking up slowly, like, don't tell Owen. <laughs> so I didn't mean to stick, skip through, that was my bad. Uh, but that, that does work well. Scott, go ahead, tell us about your builds. Um, so I built quite a few things, but one of my favorite thing wasn't even for me, it was for Owen. Um, because where he'd built, he had like this outside area. And I'd built like a really nice garden inside the area. And he was like, can you build a garden for me? And for, I'm very much a people pleaser. So as soon as I was like, I have to do it for someone else, I put way more effort into it. <laughs> so I spent friendship. like hours and basically he like blocked off and had to say to Owen, like, you're not allowed to look, you're not allowed to watch my streams, you're not allowed to go outside. Like, and spent ages and it just kind of kept developing with chat for like, there was like a lake, there was surfboards, there was a cherry blossom, there was a picnic blanket, there was a swinging bench. Like, I just That's kept adding to it. And then also on top of that, when it became Christmas on rats, I then went and winterfied everything. So like I made it all snowy. I changed the bonsai tree to like a Christmas tree with baubles hanging. Like I froze over the lake. Like that was probably the most hours I spent in one bit. And it just kind of kept being like, oh, I can add this thing and I can add this bit. And it just blew up and it just hit everyone. Sorry. Um, yeah, it was great. 
You did a really good job. Olive. Oh, I did not build this at all, but Snifferish did. <laughs> this was our house. We were roommates. And roommates. roommates. And they were roommates. And we were, were roommates. roommates. <laughs> we were just roommates who raised a child together. Um, yeah, I never figured out how to use the chisel in bits because I can't even build in regular Minecraft, so sniffed at everything, and I supplied the materials. Aww. And this is where we lived. I think you were, you were the first ones to do something like really detailed. Yeah. So that was actually, like set the rest of us off. Like, insanely so detailed. Yeah. Everybody, everybody yeah. saw a sniff and then everybody was like, okay, no, we gotta yeah, actually... I like, remember yeah. that because like my house, I was like, this is fine. I walk in and stuff, I was like, I hate everything I've <laughs> ever done in my life. <laughs> and I was like, right, and you just had to spend hours like... And it was this. built so quickly too. Every time I'd pop back like in, the there would be a whole section. section. Yeah. Yeah. Sniff is yeah. incredible yeah. at the stuff that they do. Uh, and so we have Martins. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize this portal was going to be in it. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that was just a little segue into your actual... Yeah, place. that little portal was just like a little segue out of the series for me. I did sort of like a sort of wider law thing for my own things. But basically, we were saying earlier on how you can just destroy an entire block all of a sudden. That was kind of the canvas for this, was there were just two or three logs, and I accidentally just decimated the whole inside, and I was like... I guess I've made the walls <laughs> and I just sort of ran with it and I just made like this little bar I decided that I wanted to make a build where because everyone had their own builds and they go back and they drop their items I wanted somewhere that would be like a kind of a gathering point so I basically just made a pub and like I'd imagine me stood behind the bar like look like you could use a drink and then they would give me info about what's happening around the whole house in the day so it had like a mechanical purpose as well but you can see that I decorated it for like Christmas and for Halloween and that post box had like a barrel beneath it so when we did Secret Santa that was the the drop-off point once you'd made a gift or you wanted to choose a name you'd pop them back in there so it just kind of made everything um just kind of kind of come together really it was yeah. fun and then there's also we actually you're the only person who has two slides for their builds here oh you did something else as well <laughs> yeah so the one on the far right that was a backup gift for the secret santa for eloise and then the one on the far left uh we had ratter which was basically just an obnoxious billboard where we would just say anything we wanted mostly it was me posting on there and then i would frame other people by posting things that they supposedly had said oh, i thought they did post those no no i, I was just stitching everybody up i was trying you to cause some conflicts what was that you'd, you'd ask us if we wanted to post anything sometimes and sometimes <laughs> maybe those words weren't exactly what we'd said to you they, they were half there truth there was some creative liberty and then the middle one was really fun so I used the block bench skills that I had again to make that big rat mm. statue and we did a really fun thing which I think for us was like oddly quite emotional we did like an awards show at the end of the SMP of like who like was the funniest rat or who caused the most trouble and stuff like that so we did uh, the rat awards which was really fun and we had like loads of categories voted on by everybody from people's audiences on a google form um, yeah it was great and like that stage and the, the backdrop and everything that was Eloise and Beck helped me with that as well it was a massive team effort for it that was week. such a good like calm before the storm as well yeah yeah it was, it was our really last good. time together yeah. before the, the, the hatch door opened opened well, the bit before the hatch yeah the bit that's not pictured that you did with the block bench stuff was the flashing camera thing oh, oh, that was like it made it so yeah. that it just looked like flashes were going off for paparazzi it was wild so i think it's like one of the it's either for potions or crits i got the particle effect and i was very graciously given uh, a command block so i could put it on loop and we did basically a paparazzi wall so it was like you know sort of like this sponsor logos across the back the particles going crazy and i made tiny little cameras with block bench i think we replaced like a carrot or something with it so we could all have cameras it was like who are you wearing who are you wearing and <laughs> it was all very silly but i mean that was the smp in a nutshell really yeah absolutely and then we have you bex yeah um yeah this is my my fight club my rat fight club <laughs> uh so yeah the way this came about was i we came out of the hatch from the trap the first time we went to the attic and i literally just saw a washing machine that was just there i was like that's my house now immediately um and then i kind of started gnawing it out because i had no idea how to use chisel and bits and then i was figured out that i had to kind of actually try and do it so i basically hollowed the entirety of it out and then made a little like fight boxing ring inside there's a gym in there and then later on i wanted it to be like a secret fight club so i built my laundrat um next door in a laundry basket like a that was upside down with a lot of little washing machines in it there's also some Tide Pods, because like about three different people requested that I put Tide Pods in there. Um, but I don't know why they wanted those, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so it was a laundrette leading to the, the spin cycle, which is what I called the Fight Club. 
Can yeah. I just say the absolute lag you would get walking? Oh, yeah, no, no one could actually walk in <laughs> because it was like, too close and too specific. Every every little bit was just lagging everyone out. So, oh, that's me. Hi. That's you. Um, yeah. So I wanted to do some sort of like inventor mechanical rat. So I sort of made uh, a little like cog uh, grandfather clock. Uh, which Owen Rat was very scared of for canonical reasons. Uh, and eventually that kind of upgraded into him having his own little smeltery room uh, and the telescope, which was I think one of the last things I built. That smeltery room is uh, the home to one of the more iconic moments of rats when I was trying really hard to be in character and angsty. Uh, and, Ma and I don't know how you caught wind that I was doing angst, but you just came out of nowhere. No, I just, I walked around the corner and I think you were muted in game and I saw you just staring at these items floated. I thought, I know what I've got to do. Just <laughs> grab them, ran, and I think you were sort of stunned for a moment. So by the time you came out into the corridor, I was long gone. Yeah. Like, I genuinely just vanished. I couldn't find you afterwards. It was crazy. You just, like, poofed into thin air. It was incredible. <sighs> we have uh, a couple of people who aren't on the panel, but are in the audience. <laughs> So we're all going to do a little like dum ba dum ba dum ba dum 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 as we go through this dum 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 garbage garbage this was a lovely build Holly I really wanted to end on this one just because we'd seen such incredible work and then you wrote your name out of poop and that was that was your lasting imprint. Uh, so this is when we're going to segue into uh, questions from the audience. So we have two mics here, uh, and you're welcome to wander on up uh, and ask any questions, if you have any. Um, and if not, we have more questions either way. Making moves. The brave ones first. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The, the cue will form. I kind of wanted to ask, why rats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apo, do you want to take this? Because we like rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, I think, how did they come about? It was the hardcore well, world. Because you, you guys did some like Origins mod thing, right? Yes, yeah, we did oh. hardcore Origins, and I, I was like digging under people's houses uh, while Everybody we were doing hardcore. Everybody kept calling you a rat. And, and people they started edited, calling you a rat. They edited your face on a rat. Yes, they yeah, did do that. People just started calling me a rat. Yeah. And instead of taking offense to it, I was like, we can do something with this. And, and we made rat. I, I remember going to you, every person that we pitched it to, we were like, you have to bear with us here. We were like, listen to this. Minecraft, but rats. And all of them are like, oh no, yeah, okay, I immediately get it. So everybody that we spoke to and pitched it to was like on board immediately because you get everything about the SMP just with those few words. So yeah, that rats. We love rats. You, like, you, you, you kind of came into a call with us and you were sort of like, what if, uh, what if there was an SMP, but you're all in a big house and you're all very small and you're little rats running around. And we were like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This I is remember. great. And then we did it. And then you just yeah. went and did it. Yeah. It's it crazy. I remember you telling me while we were on the train somewhere. I think we were going to London <laughs> for like a movie thing and you were like, so I've got an idea. And I was like, okay. And you're like, ratatouille, but r an SMP. And I was like, I'm in. <laughs> I think that was the best thing about the SMP is I've never been a part of an SMP where there was a pre-structured and like pre-designated world. So yeah. it was nice to be able to not have to worry about making these immense builds. I mean, we all got quite fiddly with chisel and bits, but having like a real world to inhabit was like super fun. I love that yeah. element of it. Do you want to take the next one, Apo, from the audience? Your side. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, hi. I was just going to ask um, like how... I guess anyone on the panel thinks that uh, what they did on rats has sort of impacted the content they've made afterwards. Mm. Interesting. I mean, I think for me, I've just jumped into a new SMP recently, New Life SMP. Um, and I think through rats, I found myself actually pushing my boundaries a bit when it comes to like trying to do like build implementation and then execution on whether it's pranks and things like that and even just trying to kind of develop my wider storytelling as well as leaving it rooted in some improv because that was the thing I think literally everyone here everybody that was in the SMP you could be doing plans and stuff but if they come over and say Martin like blah 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 like I would drop everything and vice versa everyone would drop whatever they were doing in that moment to ensure that your moment was going to thrive and enhance if that ball was rolling in. So I think kind of learning how to sort of give as well as take was kind of the main takeaway from Rats for me. Mm -hmm. Just the chaos kind of, you know, molded me. Yeah, I think for me it was the being able to like adapt and improvise with like improv because a lot of it was obviously, there was like the quest you could do and there was like some of the pre-story stuff built in already that obviously we didn't know until it happened. But I think the 
a lot of the fun moments are the stuff that just kind of you would do to mess around with people or like little bits that happen just organically. Um, and I think that sort of like was good at making me realize that you don't need to go into series and have everything planned out. Sometimes the best stuff comes from just letting it happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. should we go from this side as well? Yeah, good reach, nice. Hi, since Owen stole my original question, thank you, Owen. So sorry. <laughs> um, with the SMP, what was your favorite funniest moment? This is for all of you. What was your favorite funniest moment in the entire SMP? It could be whether it was with the guests or different law, like, or bloopers as well. Um, for me, it was fun if it was like a non canon thing we did. And I think it ended up, it was just me, Beck, Owen, and Elle. And was it hide and we seek? Yeah, we oh decided to play like hide and seek. Like, the way the mechanics worked for when people would catch you was it was like a stick that would like teleport into the cage, and Owen yeah. was able to like give those. So he just went kind of like crazy mode one day, and we were like, let's just hide and seek. So Owen would just chase us around the house catching us and it was like he was horrifying. terrifying it was yeah, awful because he, he's evil you would actually. just hear him sprint behind you like come here scott's major <laughs> you remember, the hallway, you remember like, coconut mall yeah oh my God. we kept taking turns and i remember one time then i was at and i was chasing l and you sounded both like mario and r2d2 <laughs> while i had coconut mall you just made like a weird scream noise as you were running it's away like, yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> that was mine i think um, also during the first day some groups of people kept on getting stuck behind the door in the bathroom <laughs> and then we had no food so everyone was starving to death in the bathroom and you had to like squeeze bread pieces yeah. between the <laughs> blocks. I remember hearing Ollie doing his voice of the garbage rat and then like in and amongst the chaos I just heard Jimmy P like please help me out please please let me out. <laughs> Did anybody have any other moments? There was the um, when I, I walked past a door and I just heard Owen and Toby just screaming, let it go, <laughs> at the top of their lungs. I was like, I'm just going to leave them to that because I don't want to get involved here. I think I loved it when we were playing with that thing with the, uh, the bathroom door and you were stood there and you were just trying to peek your little head out to look at the NPC that was there and you were like, see, he's French. <laughs> grabbed like that just it absolutely sent me like the reach on those NPCs initially was huge oh also when I did the uh, the secret Santa song the moment I took the the Santa outfit off which was just red leather you know armor and then underneath there was the very risque outfit just yeah. the vocal disgust slash amusement from everybody <laughs> stood in front of me like that was like, that was great peak for me also when Scott and Martin hid in the rafters during Oh yeah, when we were playing hide and seek, and we were just like, Apple can't get up. I was here. like, I was too small to yeah. get up. We knew that, so we just sat there. And we're like, Apple can't get us. It was so awful. Like, we just didn't need to. We started playing. I'm pretty sure knocks and crosses and with like chisel the, bits on the wall. Bits yeah. the wall we're like, we have time. <laughs> I think. I think for me, it was just. There was, I don't know what it was, but there was a real energy whenever it was like me, Beck, and you, Martin. Yeah. But especially because there are obviously some people who are more PG streamers. Me, me, Beck, and Martin in a room just bring out the worst in each other. <laughs> yeah. And we'd just like go off and just be little menaces. And then we'd like see Owen and we'd be like, oh, I've got to go at cool right now. I can't, can't like blow his, like do this, can't do that. Um, but they were just like, I, honestly, I, it's really hard to pick one moment. They were just, that SMP was just full so much of fun. laughter yeah. and like, honestly, to the point of like cry laughing so mm -hmm. many times. Yeah. Should we take another one from over here? Uh, is there any ideas that you've had that you just like either scrapped or never got around to that you just regret not doing? Oh, oh. Well, I mean, the ballroom. The oh, the ballroom. Oh, yeah. yeah, we were going to have like probably like three dozen NPCs just like being able to catch you and everything, and everybody would have to like climb on the walls and like on the chandeliers and stuff. But we never really got around to it because it was yeah. a little too hard to implement that many NPCs with that stuff lagging. That large room that you guys may have seen, the big ballroom, uh, the plan was, yeah, have loads of people in there, have some really nice items on the table and just get the rats to run in between people's legs like it was a little Ooh. party. And also, whenever we had Tommy Cameo, he brought in the Elytra wings. Yes. We were going to have paper planes or whatever for the rats to glide in. Like, yeah, so the Elytra... At one point. At, at one point, but like it was like very... Like, yeah, they had like no durability. You got like three seconds of flight and it was like broke. Yeah. Yeah. The so Elytras good. were late game stuff that we ended up not implementing because it made traveling around the SMP way too easy. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the stuff that we were going to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As the rats SMP was a good, well put together SMP, were there any background or behind the scenes complications that you guys had? Ooh, catastrophe. Yes, the, oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was really a catastrophe. 
Jo um, we had an event. Yeah, we had an event. So we had a quest, some kind of thing that was going to happen. Uh, does anyone remember when the cats got really big and really small? That entire thing was broken. Uh, it was originally going to be that the cats would multiply every minute, and there would be more and more of them. And then as soon as it happened, they both just died. Oh, yeah, they just <laughs> they got killed started by the other cannibalizing cats. each yeah, other. Yeah, because what it actually was with cats with silverfish, invisible silverfish on their backs, and the silverfish would drive the cats around, uh, and then the silverfish just started attacking the other cats. Because the cats were um, our mods, yeah. our, our volunteers and stuff. So yeah. So that entire stream, if you want to see a lesson in improvisation, none of what happened there went to plan. Uh, and we just had to kind of wing it and make the cats big and small. So uh, yeah, I ended up just kind of becoming a cat for that one. And yes. really yeah, you were one of the cats. You, you took two cats in live. You took Akko and Jimmy. Yeah, it was really fun. I love being a cat. I'll take another, buddy. <laughs> yeah, poke down. That was, one, that was one of the sorry, things that sorry. didn't quite go according to plan. Sorry, thank you. Uh, should we go over here? Oh, hello. Hi. Um, I just wanted to know, what's your guys' favorite type of cheese? Oh. oh. Smoked Gouda. Quick, quick nice, dip. yeah, quick fire. Blue cheese. Brie. Mozzarella. I haven't got one. Re cheddar? Regular? I don't know. <laughs> I'm baked. Oh, wow. I'm Parmesan. I think brie. Good, yeah. Thank you. What's yours? Uh, I quite like Parmesan. That's a good one. Yeah. Mozzarella. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. That's two cheeses. Well, we've got Jack. <laughs> hey guys, big fan over here. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jack. There he is. Hi, Jack. Um, I just wanted to know: is there anyone that you wanted to get on the series that you didn't get around to uh, inviting, or they didn't schedules line up? What have we made public? Huh? What have I, we made public? I don't know. I don't know who we can say. Yeah. Hmm. Can I say one? Can we get a leak? I know one. You know what? Yeah, because I had a snowman trapped in the attic. Oh, um, yeah. Echo and that were like, you can turn him into basically Frosty the snowman if you want to have him come to life for an, like a stream. So I was going to get H-Bomb to do it, but then uh, I just got too busy around Christmas, so I never got to. So that was the only one I know. Yeah. Oh. That was all. Thank you. Thank you. Right, hello. Hi. Uh, are you planning to do a season two of Rats or like an hour type of SMP? <laughs> <laughs> like what? maybe the SMP, Snake SMP, who knows? Snake SMP. Season Ooh. two, Apo. I mean, we currently have our mindset Rats on legs SMP. Rats season two. Oh no. Rats season two. Oh no. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, there might there might be plans. I, there might not be plans. I'd just like to say it's not just you asking. For <laughs> it's that. all of like, us as well. Every now and then, I'm just like, asking. oh, can we please have a rat season two? Like, it'd be really good. And he's just like, can you stop asking me this? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get. Well, maybe. Well, okay. maybe yeah. if it were to, it would be past 2023. It would yeah. be in in the far future. In the future, because um, we have cool stuff. Yeah, other stuff. Other we'll stuff. On. But good question, and I was wondering when that would come up. Right, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, okay, yeah, I can, okay, I'm telling off. Uh, what was your least favorite part about filming rats? Ooh. Can we say none of it? Uh, organizing streamers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scheduling. But well. I mean, it wasn't actually, to be fair, I've worked on other stuff and it, it, it's been a lot harder before. It was, but it's obviously just like everyone's busy. It's trying to, I mean, I'm sure you guys were like, when we were having like, hey, we've got an event, it's really important, everyone has to be there. And it's like, I can't, I can't, I can't. We were like putting schedules into the Discord and trying to figure out. I think that's, that was just like... That was a tricky part, yeah. But once, once we were there, it was always good. So yeah. I don't think that was like a negative was good. part of that. The only thing that I would think of was like occasionally after time went on, we all got, I remember at the start, Owen was like, everyone can do small amounts of chiseling bits, like one block each. And we all just ignored that and went <laughs> wild. So like as the series went on, your frames slowly depleted. Oh, yeah, like I think I at one point had to be like, I can't use shaders anymore. This doesn't work. Like that was the only issue we had. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Toby was at one FPS for the entire yeah. <laughs> runtime of SMB. Wasn't your like computer physically smoking at that point? <laughs> So <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, you're welcome. You kind of had to upgrade eventually, and we just expedited that process. Uh, for me, I think it was trying to get all those resource packs synced in time. Oh my we, god! We had some last-minute stuff, partly because of Apo and my organisation, partly because Martin would f keep throwing in. I just new kept throwing hats in. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great, but it was it always kind of uh, just about worked out. I think at one point Jimmy couldn't hear one of the voice lines. 
and he was just sort of walking around like, what are people, why are you all just standing? <laughs> oh, that was the big moment. That was when dad came home and... And we were like, like shh. Yeah, going, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he just wasn't picking up what we were putting down. Yeah. Only, I think shush means something different to him. I don't know. <laughs> the only other bit I remember was it was quite often, like if it was a themed one, like I would help build things like Halloween or Christmas and that. And there was one, I think it may have been around Thanksgiving or something, we did something. But Beck was the only person who would stream before everyone else. So we'd have to be like, don't leave the attic, stay upstairs, we're still building. Yeah, so many times, like, they were just like, don't come downstairs, don't go in here, don't go in the garden. Like, okay. for two hours while we were like, we thought we had more time, quick. <laughs> so I think we're coming up on, yes, we have about six minutes till we have to move on. So let's, let's try to rapid fire these now. Mm -hmm. We could go for one more. Uh, what was your favorite part of the house? Favorite part of the house. Ooh. I like when the garden opened up as a new yeah, section. Yeah, the garden. Was the garden for the first time, if you had the correct music listening to it while you walked out, mm. it was like... Mm. So I really like the tunnels. Yeah, the tunnels. like finding yeah. a little tunnel. Like I would just like back up and then I'd be like, oh, there's another one. And then we'd just go into another room. That was always really Bex cool. was very good at finding the tunnels. Well, she I would like walk it. backwards and just fall into one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> I think probably the room that was the most awe-inspiring for me was the giant library. Oh, that's I remember oh, yeah. walking into that for the first time because it was fenced off initially. and You couldn't really see through the fences properly, but you walked in and it was just this humongous, tall-reaching thing. And then the ominous, like, dad's study door that yeah. didn't get open until like the final weeks. Like... Mm. That room had a lot of grandeur, which I think is why we had it as the stage for the massive court case that we did. Yeah, um, yeah rats do law, apparently. Um, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a bit. But yeah, that room was really, like, wow factor for me. Yeah, that was cool. I think we have time for a couple more, Apo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, There's a question for all of you. Um, after you guys knew who was going to be on the server, who are you most looking forward to working with? At the time? Yeah, like, in the SMP. Yeah. Ooh. I think for me, honestly, everyone, but like I, it became friends with like Owen Beck and L, but like I hadn't properly had a series to play with yeah. at the point, so it was quite nice being like, okay, we get to do this thing, like we're actually all in the same thing, because when I became friends, these were like finishing out Outsiders, yeah. then I had Empire, so it was like we weren't ever on the same thing, so it was cool to be able to do that. I think yeah. I think for me, it was everybody that I hadn't worked with yet. Because yeah. for me, coming into the SMP, there was tons of people that I didn't know yet. I mean, like, you know, um, the people that were on the orange uh, ocelots for, like, Rising, I'd only met you very briefly. And then there was people like Olive and Sniff and people like that who i just never worked with before. So that kind of, like, unknown and that mystery was quite exciting to go into. Yeah. Not Ollie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Or, or Toby. Or Crow. Or Akko. Any of the, that's why they're not up here. Yeah, that's why they're up here. <laughs> we love you guys. I'm throwing. Uh, go ahead, yeah. Hey guys, yeah. Uh, I'm a creator myself, so this is kind of a content question as well. Uh, so there have been so many SMPs in the last year, in the last few years, ever since COVID. There's been the more like PvP side, lifesteal televised, and then the more creative side, like Hermacraft, Rats, example, New Life. I wanted to get your opinion on what is kind of the future for SMP content, as people are saying, and how could rats have impacted that? What do you think you, people might be seeing going forward for multiplayer Minecraft? So, SMPs baseline are friends playing Minecraft together, and that will never change. That is what you need for anything to work out. Uh, lots, lots of SMPs die out in like a couple weeks because, I mean, you just invite a bunch of random people and it just doesn't really work out. So you've got to find people that you really connect with. And I'm happy to say everybody here connects pretty well. Yeah. Um, and at least how rats will impact the future, who knows? Uh, I feel like we do some pretty organized storytelling, like very immersive projects. I've, I've said so many times uh, to so many people, um, we want POW to kind of be like, the Pixar of Minecraft SMP creation. And that's because they do stuff so well, we want to make sure every single thing we do has a lot of love and passion put into it. So hopefully people get inspired off of us and want to do whatever they want to do and also make really cool, inspiring projects with their friends. Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks. I think you got that. Yeah. Uh, I think we have time for one more question. We got Maybe. three minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Um, how scary was it like fighting as a rat for your life? Like, did it change your vision about rats? Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of now sympathize with rats a little bit, yeah. you know? Yeah, sympathy. Ones, I think we all like rats a bit more now. Yeah. yeah. I that. wish we could bring up the yeah. chat logs from the Discord, because whenever somebody got caught, <laughs> Oh and my like, God, the help, spam. Help, oh help, God. help, Like, it's just caps lock and just like 20 messages for one person. Then it always ends with lowercase, 
I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Every originally, time. We, that we, had a, we had a dedicated was... channel which was just called I'm Stuck, Help Me. Yeah. It wasn't like, originally called that though, in. was it? It was just like, it was like originally called like, like Ask for Help and I swear it got renamed to like, I'm stuck, help me. Like, yeah. You're right, literally, whenever someone was stuck, it wouldn't be like, hey guys, uh, I'm stuck right now, could someone like come give me a hand? It was spamming the chat, like, help, help, help. And it's like, it, I think it that was, was just... because there were so many mods that the client itself would take yeah, yeah, a take few a minutes to boot, to boot up. up. Was, so if you've got six, yeah. you're like, ooh. It was also funny because at the start, I think like you would have like four people jump on. And then as we were getting like towards the end where we knew it was ending, it was like, let them die. There, were, them a couple, there were a couple like, moments I want a day. <laughs> hit or miss, like. Yeah, I right. think it showed that you can be really scared in Minecraft without it being like a horror-based thing. Uh, sometimes you just got to be a little guy and be fine <laughs> for your life. Dude. We have time for one more. We've got one more person in the queue. Hello. Hey, um, since you all have a lot of experience with rats, I just wanted to ask, do rats, rats make you crazy? No. Oh, no. No. Oh, <laughs> no. I was crazy once. <laughs> I'm not starting that. We got so close. Sorry, we got so question, close. <laughs> okay, we've really been on we that. We have been Thank saying you. that all the time. I'm not going to lie. Wait, I think we have one more person standing in line, and I think we have a little more time. What we have one minute. What, who was that person? Somebody. Oh, that uh, you guys were up. No, 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 they were together. Okay, 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 okay. They were yeah. together. Nice. That's oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Cool. Then I think so, Apple, do you want to segue us into the next bit in our last five minutes? All right. Oh, he's standing Oh, standing. Owen. Yes. So we have discussed the past of PAL creations with the Rats SMP. Yep. And I think now it's time to discuss the future. Yes. Uh, PAL creations is working on something new. Uh, and we'd like to show you a little snippet, a little exclusive insight. I've got uh, this. So yeah, we haven't so seen this. So. We're going to all manifest once again that this works first try. Are we ready? <laughs> Here we go. Wait for it. Squid SMP. <laughs> Knew it. Knew it. that full video at Pal Creations on Twitter in the next five minutes or so if you want to look at it again. Uh, and it's very soon with his in, like, my connection is bad. It's going to be, I don't know, hopefully less than an hour. <laughs> the actual SMP will be out sometime within the next few weeks. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of a, you'll see very soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Apo, we Wait. have three minutes. Do you want to do like a little, if you take a camera and point it this way, and I take one and point it this way, we will get everybody in a little bit of yeah, like sure. a selfie cross. Can I say something before you do that? Sorry? Can I say something before you yes, do that? Yes, go ahead, Bex. Um, a slot here sat down. We kind of showed up made rap little characters and then played on SMP. Owen and Apo spent months, literally months, sorting out the builds, organizing every one, everything, all the mods, all the resource packs, all the everything that you, anything that was brought to rats, other than just speaking on stream, they did that. So can we get like a massive round of applause for them actually making this happen? This is awesome. Akko. Akko's waving at me. Go ahead, mate. You have three minutes. I lived with Owen during that period of time. The amount of stress, the amount of long nights. He normally has All a nighters. sleep schedule. But during creating rats, and I'm sure now with the next thing, the amount of effort Owen puts in, and I'm sure Apo too, is like genuinely immense. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you, Apo. You're a great, great partner. 
Right, let's get this photo. Everybody feel free to stand up if you wish to or can, uh, and we will try and get one. Actually, maybe stay seated, because then we get everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to get you guys, you're going to get them. And can, we get, can we go into the photo? Yeah, you can go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to go oh, we'll be going down there. This may be on the Twitter. What's that? No, no, don't worry. You're, you're looking, you guys are looking at Apo. You guys are looking at me. Hold on, hold on. Ready? And we go rats, 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 r